Hello from Open Search Design. I'm Carlos, a UX designer on the team, here to demo the Open Search Journey Map Library. This library will help you create customer journey maps and task flow diagrams so that you can present your user research findings to your teams. Let's get started. The welcome page gives you some information about the library as well as how to use it. You may use this component library as a local file or as a shared library within your teams. We've also provided some information on how to select and use components and component properties to customize them. The sticker sheet provides an overview of the components as well as some of its variants. We've also provided a sample journey map so that you can get some ideas on how to lay out your own. In the future, our research teams will provide some sample templates based on our own user research. Look out for those in upcoming updates. Now let's create our own journey map. So on the left panel, you'll see a tab called Assets. Under Assets, you'll see the components listed. We have a category for persona and one for task flow. The persona category has all the components that are specific to personas, while the task flow has everything you will need to create a task flow diagram or a journey map. You could view these in list view, which they are now, or grid view. Hovering over gives you some details on how many variants they are, and if you click, you'll be able to get further details on that component. I'm going to select the Persona trait card. Now if you look here, you'll see a sort of a hierarchy, right? From the simplest component to a more complex Persona trait card. The Persona trait card contains all of these components wrapped up into one. So we're going to use this as a component to create our persona that my user researcher has provided information for. Okay, so you are able to mess with the properties so you can toggle on and off um, a lot of the layers, right? So we're not going to use the quote and we're going to use four traits. So let's get started. Okay, the, you can also just go in here and you can see here there's the text fields as well. So you can just start writing within the text fields or just click into your uh, component. So this is Dipsy and Dipsy is a search engineer. And I think I have some descriptions here. There we go. Now, I can go farther down. These are called nested components. So these are components within the super component, which is the persona trait card. So let's go ahead. Potential jobs. Then I have some motivations. some jobs to be done. And lastly, a knowledge and skill. Perfect. And that's that. So your persona trait card is done. Uh, now let's get started with our task flow diagram. So again, uh, also listed in a hierarchical format, but the simplest thing I guess we should put our header in here. Uh, I think my user researcher has some info for me here. Uh, there we go. Open search project software. Let me fix this. There we go. Uh, actually, I think it's an open search project. And I think they toggled off the description. So there we are. There's our title, ready to go. You can align it if you wanted to. But for now, let's just leave it as is, and then I'll show you a little later what to do. So 
First thing we need probably is a step indicator somewhere. Uh, we also want some row titles, right? So here we have our rows, the first thing. We're going to have a phase, and we're going to toggle off the description for the phase. And then we're going to have another one. So you can just start copying these because these are your row titles. So this is going to be stage. And I have some information from my fabulous user researcher here. Oh, stage. And then I believe there's a stage com header. So it's the stage one and it's the planning. Planning. And then there's another row called do. I love your mouse clicks. Mouse clicks. Okay, do. I think we're going to do feel. Actually, I said that you can do it from the properties panel. Feel. Um, we're going to copy some text here. Feel, then I think there's think. Again, copy this. This is think. And then the last row, I believe, is effort. Effort, and it doesn't have any descriptions. So now that you have that first, or not row, but column, now that you have that. Uh, now that you have the, that full column, you can align it a little bit. Uh, now you can start creating your second column, which is the planning column. And we're going to select the cell content. So let's grid view this. Cell content is just a component that allows you to put content within it. And I think for do, our first cell content is do. Uh, do what you can do with your cell content is you can actually modify it so that you can have a pain point background color, an opportunity background color, or a highlight, right? So we're going to leave it default for now. Uh, next, we need a feeling. Let me wait on here. Right, it's just a little smiley here. Um, we're going to use our feeling graph lines I think it should be actually underneath this guy we're gonna put our feeling graph lines kind of just out there uh, and then we're gonna have another content block so you can copy this and here's our content block for think and then for effort we have a level of difficulty indicator we can use. Now we have this. We can align it. I believe I line, I've lined this to center. Uh, now we can actually duplicate this. And one thing we don't want to duplicate is this graph line because it's just going to span through. And we're gonna, just going to set the alignment to zero for now. And we're going to change our level of ever to difficult according to this. And we're going to get step two, which is infrastructure development, step two. Uh, we're going to change our arrow to a mid arrow. And this is called platform setup. I'm just going to create part of this graph so that you just see it as a as as a sample, right? So let's span this one across. You'll see the alignment shows up, right? Those little X's. 
gives you some alignment indications. And again, we're going to copy the next column. We're not going to copy that graph, but the next column over. Nice, nice and easy here. And this is what? Setting up data flow. It's called the step three in the stages. Now you see I'm going back and forth from clicking into the component to using the properties panel. And it's just a force of habit. This text, this text, and then I think I could cast two items. These are going to be level of difficulty is difficult, apparently. Don't worry, we're going to get to that. The alignment issues are not a problem. You can just start dropping it based on your data, too, right? Like what data you will have, you'll be able to move these uh, feelings emojis around if you wanted to. Uh, and also, this actually spans across two of them, according to. And then the next, I'm just going to make one more for a sample. Duplicate this, move it over, let's align it here, and then we're just going to take this arrow and align it here. Now this is a mid, according to this, and this is going to be moderate. Again, super simple to have all the changes to your com components here to really easily and very fast create a user journey map. Sorry, I was slipping my words there for a second, but hey, you're watching me do this. Uh, okay, let's almost finish here. Copy. Okay, I'm going to do something here real quick. I'm going to make these things all the layouts and then I'm going to make them. I'll, I'll add these to the components, so bear with me here. Oh, that didn't work. Never mind. Let's just keep going with this. So now we're going to extend our graph. And there you go. There really is your. these are 280 okay and then I'll just center align these things let's just fix that oh, what happened oh this is a frame so I'll do this that was an accident sorry and now we're gonna center align and then Grab your component. There you go. So here's your here's your journey map um, completed. You can align these if you want. And I'm gonna top align some of these just to have uh, this. Actually, I'll just do a center align here, and I'm just gonna make some quick adjustments. You could then start to. You might not want to center align that, but you can center align this. And then here's your do. I probably top align these things, but you know we're just kind of eyeballing just to give you an idea of how fast it is to create a journey map using this component framework. Uh, but anyway, that's it. And then if you wanted to, you could then. Um, kind of select everything and wrap it in a frame. And lastly, you can give you that frame a fill color. Uh, we use variables for colors, 
and you can then just create that fill uh, if you gave it on the way out I think it will mess everything up but you know what you do you can wrap these this content into a frame as well so frame selection and now if you can give this auto layout okay I'm creating more of a mess than I should so let's just leave it at, as this right no, no auto layout on this frame and we'll just reposition everything according to how easy this is supposed to be right so anyway there you go there is your uh, components now here's a fun thing that you can sh do with these layers because they're all attached to variables if you wanted to you can make this uh, dark mode if you want so just like that you have a different look and feel uh, dark mode color you can also uh, give it if you wanted different colors that I'm using here from what I'm using here we have purples and we also have greens and we'll probably add some more later but for now uh, it is cool that you can do uh, dark to light and just like that you have a customer journey map for your own user research just like that very fast I don't I don't know how long it took to create this but I think it was relatively fast but you could probably create this in under 10 minutes once you get the, the feel for it and you have uh, your content on a spreadsheet or on a document you could just copy and paste really easily um, and yeah there you have it that's our open search journey map library so hopefully you enjoy it and if you have any issues just let us know through our support and our github all right thanks